Now we're going to take a look at drawing a bar graph and doing so properly. In the last section we looked at creating a frequency table from this question about what your favorite color was between green, gold, red, and purple. Here we have the frequency and the relative frequency. Now a bar graph, you're simply going to create bars that represent each of the options. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is go ahead and create our uh, scale on the left. You'll notice that the highest frequency we have here is 25. So the highest we really need to go here will be that 25. So I'm going to write in 25. And then from the rest of it, we want to just make sure we have even marking. So we'll probably mark every 5. And we'll get this roughly right here and label every other one at least. So there we go, we have our scale on the left. Next thing we need is our categories on the bottom. So I have these typed up. The one thing you want to make sure you do is put them in order. Now we talked about this on the frequency chart. We didn't have to do it there, but because we did put them in order already, now we don't really have to think about that when we're creating our charts. So always put the highest frequency one, in this case the green, first, then the gold, and so forth. Now we need to draw in our bars. So the frequency of 25 is going to correspond to a bar that goes all the way up to 25 and back down. So hopefully your bars are a little straighter than mine. Uh, same thing here, the gold, we go up to 15. A nice curvy bend. And then the red and purple are each only 5. Notice how when I draw these I keep the bars separate, they are not touching on this bar graph because each of these is a separate categorical variable. Another option that we have um, with this is not just to label these with numbers here. Um, I'll go ahead and finish filling this in. But we could use the relative frequency. So we could either do this and then type frequency on the side. So we label our left side with frequency. Or we could label it with relative frequency. And then at each of our markings here, we would label it with the percentage. So we would label this as 50% and so forth all the way down uh, in order to get our relative frequency. Regardless of whether we're using frequency or relative frequency, we always have to label what it is on the side. And so this left axis will always either say frequency or relative frequency. The last thing we need to do is put a title on the graph. You always want to make sure you uh, title the top. So let's call this favorite colors. As long as it's reasonably descriptive, that will be perfectly fine. And as a last little finishing touch, uh, we might want to label down here. Sometimes it's very obvious what these uh, choices are. Uh, these are all color options. Sometimes it's a little less obvious, so it's really important then to have that title. And that is it. That's how you draw a bar graph.